my name is Mab Graves, and I have a pink cupcake. I'm here at the lovely cupcake shop, and I'm here to tell you about primary colors and what this organization has done in my life, in my heart, and in my career. Um, September 2009, I was the art versus art champion, and it was a big surprise. <laughs> I uh, really had never shown, had never um, done art publicly. I just kind of did it for myself in my studio, and I had um, a bunch of cruel, mean friends uh, cajole me and guilt me into painting. And I went to the paint day, it was very crabby, and um, I painted the Bride of Frankenstein, who um, eventually won, and then gloriously got destroyed. It was all my hopes and dreams for her. By that December, I had work in four shows. Um, because of primary colors, I had people stopping me on the street saying, hey, aren't you Mab Graves? Oh, I voted for your painting. Oh, I lost my voice that night screaming. People were really excited about the event. This year, I've had work in numerous shows, including a solo show at the Harrison, where I had 56 paintings and large amounts of people nearly sold out. Launched my website this spring, and because of that, uh, I've sold work all over the world right now. I've sold stuff in Paris and London and Hong Kong and South America and all over the States. This year at Art vs. Art, I uh, um, painted a little Red Riding Hood, and the woman who bought the piece um, was actually from Washington, D.C., and she checked out the website before the event and fell in love with her and, um, and won her and then contacted me right after that and bought a very large piece of mine and um, shipped the painting back to me, the art versus art painting back to me so I could sign it and frame it and varnish it and finish it. Um, she was really, really excited about the event. That's the thing is your art can't speak for itself. Like you have to speak for your art. I know so many really talented artists who um, just aren't out there and they're not promoting themselves and they don't know how to get themselves out there and to, you know, you can, you can paint like a house of fire, but if no one knows you do it, it doesn't make a difference, you know, it's not going to reach people. Sport Primary Colors, um, it's an amazing group, a bunch of amazing people and they're doing some really fantastic things in Indianapolis and in the lives of ordinary pink-haired people like me eating pink cupcakes. <laughs> Only you can support primary colors. No, all of you can. Everyone. <laughs> Do it. <laughs>